All right, so we're making a value scale. I'm using purple. You can use whatever color you want. Start with the base color, right there in the middle. And then you're gonna add a lot of white and some black. Not that as much black. We need a lot more white than we need black. We're gonna scoop a little bit of white into the one right next to our base color and even more white into the next one and a whole lot of white into the last one. Because what we want to do is we're going to be using that base color as the start and getting progressively lighter as we go. Now each time I switch colors, I really out my brush really, really well and dry it off on the dry sponge. Start with your base color. Paint that on right in the middle because what it looks like in your tray might be different than what it looks like in um, on the paper. All right, I'm gonna add a lot of purple. In this case, the purple is gonna be lighter than my black. So I'm gonna add a lot of purple in the first one, a little in the next one, and a little less in the last one for the black. All right, now I'm mixing my white. So I want it to be just a little bit, let me zoom in, just a little bit uh, lighter than my base color. Mix that in really, really well. And once that's mixed in really, really well, I rinse it out really, really well, dry it. Get just a little bit of purple and mix it into that a lot of white. A little bit goes a long way with that white. And you go from color, or you, you have a lot of white and a little bit of color ratio. Um, and then it's the opposite for the black. And then I get a little bit more purple for my last one. And this one should be the lightest. So this should have the most amount of white. And a little bit of that base color. Now, those look very similar. The middle one and the last one look very similar. So I'm gonna add a little bit more color um, to that middle one to even that out. So it's more of a uh, transition. And now I'm ready to paint it on. And as you can see, it goes from base color to a little bit lighter, rinsing out each and every time. And then the next one is a little bit lighter than the one before it. Seen and drying. And then the last one is even lighter than the one before that. And that's a gradient. Now with the black, the black is very powerful. So you only want to add a little bit of black at a time. And since this is only supposed to be a little bit darker, I'm going to add a lot of purple and just a tiny bit of black. In fact, I even need a little bit more purple because um, my black kind of overpowered it right away. I'm going to add even more purple into those. All right, that's looking pretty good. And then for, paint that in. And then the next one should be just a little bit darker. And then the last one should be very dark um, without actually being black. Now, if you're using yellow, you're not going to use black. You're going to use purple instead to darken your your um, yellow. Because if you put black and yellow together, it just ends up looking gross green. So we use the opposite color of yellow, which is purple. But that is only if you are using yellow as your base color. Everybody else is going to use black to make their color darker. And there it goes from base color to dark to darkest.